The interesting thing about ocean observing is each and every one of us actually relies on ocean observing, whether we know it or not. And it's a very broad uh, topic. So we start with the actual observations and the technologies, and they span a wide range from satellites overhead all the way down to gauges, buoys, HF radar, gliders, and even the mammals and the fish in the ocean tell us um, about the ocean. But it's not good enough just to observe it. We've got to be able to serve the information up. And we've got to put that in a predictive capacity and put it into tailored services. So when we run an ocean observing track, we've got a wide range of presentations that we go through. And we've been very fortunate to attract some of the best speakers in, in that entire range from observations through all the way to that products and services. We started out this morning by Dr. Harry Kohler of IBM, and he's been working actually on a European project called Smart Bay. And what they're really looking at is how do you instrument a very harsh oceanographic place and test equipment and bring that information back and then into the data services. And he got the group going very well. From there, we actually focused on a, a specific technology, on seismic. How do we improve our ability to detect uh, the movement of the earth and earthquakes? Uh, from there, we went into a panel. And this panel was great because it looked at two international um, large industries, Sonodyne and Teledyne. And we married that up with the government, so Eurogoos, and here in UK, CFAS, and then how does a professional society, MRS, sorry, um, how do they come to this ocean observing, ocean science industry, and what do they bring? And so that was a great way of trying to tie all those sectors that we work with together. I think the trends in the industry is that we're all trying to get to the unmanned autonomous vehicles. And we're also trying to miniaturize and make those um, instruments smarter and lower cost. It was very interesting to hear from both Teledyne and Sonodyne how they've taken equipment that they developed for one purpose, and now with software changes, it's helping a completely different purpose. So in the case of Sonodyne, one of their survey equipment that they've used forever, with a software change, they can now monitor tsunamis. So that was a very interesting way how industry is taking their um, markets, predominantly oil and gas, and now working in that ocean science um, realm. You know, this is actually my third time of being here, and I've had the pleasure of first speaking at the ocean track and not really understanding what Oceanology International was, and then two years ago chairing the track, and now back again. And I think it was in the second time that I came here that I understood the value of bringing all of these industries together. It's the only conference in the world that's very much focused on the ocean industry and that technology and what that can bring. And then you have the conference on the side that allows us to start to make those connections. For example, in the United States, I work in the government, and so I have a government program. But how do I really marry up with industry to make that work? And this, this conference that happens every other year, it really is where everybody comes, every industry comes here.